If there was one question that I get asked the most, which generally happens when people find out for the first time that I love cooking, they ask, what is your favorite thing to cook? Which is pretty much the most basic question you can ask. It's like the default question if you don't know what to say. And that always, that always screwed with me because it's nearly impossible to answer. What is my favorite thing to cook? Well, you know, I love cooking everything. But I think over the last few years, I, I might have come to an answer, definitely most recently, and that would be your good old Asian noodle soups. Now, when I say Asian noodle soups, you know, there's so many different Asian countries, different Asian cuisines that do incredible noodle soups, and they're all freaking delicious, and they all have their own elements, they all have their own techniques. What I like to do is study them all, learn them all, go out and taste them all, so I can come back and make the perfect version for me, for whatever ingredients I have, whatever ingredients are in season, I would say if I could cook one thing for the rest of my life, if I had to decide, it would probably be a bowl of Asian noodle soup. So that means I got to get good at it and I have been getting really good at it over the years. And I want to teach you guys like my favorite variation. This is something that I've been making over the entire winter. So I'm gonna teach you how to make a very basic roasted stock. And this thing is gonna be so packed with flavor, so there's so many different things you can do with it. But generally what I do is turn it into a noodle soup like this. Once you have the base stock, then it's all about just toppings. It's like whatever you have in the fridge, whatever type of noodles you have, you can also hold off on the noodles but I'm gonna show you the basics right now. And I've been doing a lot of videos on my Instagram, just short little videos. I'm working on a big bread class, so I don't have too much time right now. And I was gonna do a basic video on just stock, on Life by Mike G. And then I realized, you know what? There's, there's so much more I can do with this past just the stock, meaning I can create a whole dish and show you guys, so let's get into it. There's a few different techniques and types of bone broths or stocks that you can make. I'm gonna show you one of my favorites because it's just packed with flavor. So when you go to make the actual noodle soup, you don't have to add too much flavorings to get it tasting good. So I've got half a chicken right here. And what I'm gonna do is butcher this. So boom, we've got it butchered right there. We're not gonna really get into the butchering right now. Then I take a roasting tray. I add some parchment paper to save on the cleaning. And I just sprinkle a little bit of oil on there and then I spread out all of the chicken pieces. I did hold off on the chicken breast because chicken breast is not great for stocks because it dries out. So it's not gonna be great to use later on. So I will vacuum seal the chicken breast and save that just to cook on its own later. But all of the other meat that will cook down and pull apart. So we'll be able to use that in the soup. So if you have any vegetable scraps, you can add that to the mix right now, just for extra flavor. I had a few carrots, like the inside of the carrots, because I'd been peeling the outside into salads. And then I also had some mushroom stems, which will add actually a lot of depth of flavor to your stock. Then I took a few shallots and just sliced those up and sprinkled that into the action. And then some spices. I had a few cardamom seeds, some coriander, a little bit of clove. I sprinkled some more oil on that just to get it nice and lubricated and I roasted that at 450 degrees for about 25 minutes. And the whole idea here is we are building flavor to this stock. So by roasting it, you're really intensifying the flavor of all of those ingredients. So when it comes out, a lot of that oil's rendered and you see you've got all of this color on the skin of the chicken, on the vegetables, all of that equals delicious flavor into our soup. I take all of that and add it to a pot. Make sure you scrape off all of the oil and all of that goodness off the bottom of the pan because that is extra flavor. I add water to that to cover it and maybe a little more because it is gonna reduce over time. Crank the heat and bring that up to temperature. And once it's at a simmer, you're gonna let that sit for a few hours. I like the four to six hour range for chicken if it's something like pork bones, like bigger bones. You can go overnight on that to really extract all of the flavor and the nutrients. 
So one great tip I got from my friend Derek is that you can hold off on some of the aromatics till the end because you know, we're all used to like chicken noodle soup, at least over in the US. And that's just like throw everything in a pot with the chicken and the vegetables. And what happens is over time, those flavors meld into one and it's not necessarily the greatest tasting flavor. It's like you destroy the flavor of all of those vegetables over time. So what I like to do is hold off on a few aromatics that I really want to pop with flavor. So I take a few ginger slices and a few garlic slices and in the last hour, just the last hour of cooking, I'll throw those in the pot just to really infuse those flavors in a more subtle way so you can you can really taste them and they don't completely meld in with everything and lose their essence and then once that's done cooking and it's looking beautiful look how dark and nice that looks we are going to strain off everything so you strain off the meat and the vegetables and you have this beautiful stock and then we'll let the meat cool and once it's cool we'll actually pick off all of that pulled chicken and there's a lot of meat on there on all of the bones on the carcass try to get as much meat as possible off of those bones now that you have your stock now we get to pick our noodles and our toppings so let's talk about the noodles and the best part about making this stuff at home is you could take a ramen style broth with toppings, but you could replace the heaviness of ramen noodles, which I don't tend to love to eat all the time, with something like rice noodles, which are so light, or buckwheat noodles. I like to go with rice noodles because they are one of the lightest noodles, so I take them and I just soak them in water. These are brown rice noodles, and this will really soften them up, so we only have to cook them for like a minute. Now for the toppings, last night I actually roasted some veggies just for the week. I had some beets, I had some turnips, I put them on some parchment paper with some oil and some salt and I roasted them at like 450 degrees and look how beautiful these look. And that's just vegetables for the week, but these make great ingredients in your soup as well. So I think a little bit of roasted turnip in there will be delicious. So I'll just slice those up into pieces. And then I would say my all time go-to ingredient in these soups is some baby bok choy. And what I like to do with the bok choy is just blanch it. So I chop up the bok choy and just break it off the actual stem. So I have the individual pieces. And then I get a pot of water Water boiling and I blanch it for like two minutes and then put it into ice water so you really retain the value of your bok choy you really get some crunch and you get that freshness because bok choy if you just throw it in the soup it's going to overcook it's gonna be mushy and you're you're not gonna get the flavor that you really want and now one of my favorite toppings for these soups just to add a little freshness you've seen me do this before with ramen is just slicing up some scallions really really thin really fine and then throwing those in some ice water which is really going to crisp them up it's going to neutralize that intense onion flavor and it just makes a great thing to put on top of your soup so now all we have to do is actually bring this soup together. So I'm gonna pour in the broth to the pot. And then what I like to do is just add a little bit of flavoring. We did develop so much flavor with the roasting and the spices that we don't need too much. So I'm just gonna hit it with a tiny bit of soy to get the saltiness levels right. A little bit of mirin will help it pop. Tiny bit of sesame oil. Sesame oil is nice, but any type of flavored oil will just add an, an extra essence that, that will enhance your soup. And then a little bit of homemade sriracha here. You can use just chili paste or chilies, whatever you have. I like a little extra spiciness and depth of flavor with the sriracha. Now we're gonna whisk that up, get it incorporated. And then I have some shiitake mushrooms. You can use any mushrooms and those can go in raw right into the soup. And not only are those going to be delicious, just little meat bombs in there, they add a ton of umami flavor just by throwing them into this soup. And take that shredded meat off the chicken bones and then we can just add that right in there and that will just continue to melt into that hot soup. So to plate this up, all we need to do is cook up those noodles really quickly because we already soaked them for about 30 minutes to an hour. So I just throw them in some boiling water for probably a minute, does not take long. Put them into a bowl, 
Hit it with your toppings, your bok choy, your roasted veggies, and then pour over that delicious broth. And then the last thing, of course, are those scallions. And you have what I think is just the perfect balanced soup. And what I love about making this stuff at home is not only can you control the noodle type, I like the rice noodles, they're lighter, but also you can add whatever ingredients you want. A lot of times when you go to like a ramen shop, to me, they're a little out of balance. You know, sometimes it's just too much meat. There's not enough vegetables. So here I can, I can really work on balancing what I think is like a proper meal. And this is something that I eat, I would say every night, you know, in the winter, especially I try to make stock once a week, just have a big vat of stock. And then I just have a bunch of noodles lying around. Actually, Josh just put out a video. It's very similar. It's like having all these things around where you can just throw them together and make a quick meal because we're trying to feed ourselves. That's the goal here. It's not making the most incredible noodle soup that has ever existed. It's just making something that you're gonna enjoy, that your family's gonna enjoy, your friends, whoever it is. This to me is perfect. Yep, I think I would eat this for the rest of my life if I only had one option. I think I would be all right with it. And you know, to, to be honest, I'm sure there's a lot of cultures that they're doing that, where this is what they have. They don't have the intense variety like we have and they are eating simple noodle soups. Just, well, this isn't simple, but you know what I mean. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you can master this type of noodle soup, you're gonna be good. You're gonna be impressing yourself and a lot of people around you and you're gonna be eating nutritious food. So good luck. Remember to subscribe to Life by Mike G, my Instagram, that is where I'm making quick little videos that are gonna help you out in the kitchens. So I had the video on how to make the stock, but I figured I would show you the whole thing because you guys deserve it. So enjoy.